Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of goodness of fit. And by goodness of fit, we want to know how well our linear regression model it is explaining the actual values. And that is how well our model is fitting the data. And the concept that we are going to use to measure how well our model is uh, fitting the data is called R squared. To give you an intuition behind uh, R squared, let's assume the value of R squared is equal to 1. And we are regressing a very simple model of uh, only two variables. And in this case, variable x, a single variable is uh, used to predict uh, a variable y. We can represent both these variables on this graph x and y and let's assume that whenever we know the value of uh, x variable we know the value of y that is x is a perfect uh, predictor of uh, y. In this case we can draw a line and the line will pass through all these data points. So see here whenever we know the value of x we can predict a value of uh, y so see here the value of uh, y hat 1 that is our predicted value for y1 it is exactly equal to the actual value so it seems like we are perfectly predicting uh, the value of y it means if we want to predict a value of uh, y which is somewhere here in the future if we know the value of x, the value of our explanatory variable, we will be able to perfectly predict the value of uh, y. So in this case, our r squared will be equal to 1. We'll say that uh, x is a perfect predictor of uh, y. So in this case, whenever you know the value of x, you can predict uh, uh, the value of y perfectly. And obviously, uh, this will not happen uh, very frequently in your data. So essentially what uh, this uh, R squared shows is it shows the variation in Y which is explained by all the X variables on the right hand side. So we may be regressing a multiple linear regression model with the multiple X variables on the right hand side. So for example we may have only two explanatory variables on the right hand side. So what this R squared will tell us, it will show us how much variation in this variable y is explained by these two x variables. So the formula to measure R squared is this denominator is telling us how far away our actual values are from the mean value and we are taking the square of them and then summing it up and our numerator is telling us how far away our predicted values are from the mean value. So based on this concept, we can calculate R squared. The value of R squared is always between 0 and 1. So if R squared is close to 0, it implies that all these x variables are not explaining much variation in y, which means these x variables may not be very good predictors of uh, our variable of interest. On the other hand, if the value of R squared is closer to 1, these x variables on the right hand side, they may be explaining a lot of variation in this y variable, which means these x variables are good predictors of y, and we can use the information contained in these x variables to predict uh, this y variable. And our predictions of this uh, variable y based on our x variables will be very close to the actual values. Essentially this is what we want. We want our predictions to be as close to the actual values as possible. So what is a good value of R squared? There is no set rule but the closer R squared to 1 the better it is. But we will also be cautious about using the concept of R squared because anytime you add another variable on the right hand side in this equation, no matter if that variable is actually related to y variable or not, the value of r squared will go up. So adding an unrelated variable on the right hand side will increase the value of r squared 
that extra variable contains no information to predict y but the value of r squared will go up i'm sharing another video about r squared in the description below that video is a little bit more detailed and will give you more information about uh, the intuition behind using r squared and also the problems uh, with r squared nevertheless the concept here is to know how well these x variables are predicting our variable of interest y and we can use the concept of r squared the value of which is always between 0 and 1 to know that how well our model is uh, fitting the data so this is kind of uh, an idea about uh, the goodness of it all right i'll see you in the next video to show you an example of a multiple linear regression model and r squared in r all right bye bye